Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome back to TCM, where tonight we're presenting movies that premiered 90 years ago in 1933, the year before the Hollywood production code went into full effect and began cracking down on movie content. Up next, a picture that would never have made it past the censors a year later. It's a provocative pre-code comedy from one of the most audacious talents of the era, Mae West, from Paramount, 1933. I'm no angel. In a business famous for attracting strong, powerful, and unique personalities, Mae West continues to stand out. She started performing on the stage when she was as young as five years old, according to several sources, rising to become one of the biggest and most notorious stars on Broadway. Her first starring role came in a 1926 play with a title that implied nothing. It was called Sex. Seriously, that was the title. West not only starred in Sex, she also wrote, directed, and produced Sex and served 10 days in prison for, quote, corrupting the morals of youth when the production caused such a sensation that the theater was raided by police. Her time in the clink only made Mae West a bigger commodity, and sure enough, the movie studios came calling. Mae West made her film debut at the age of 39, an age when many Hollywood actresses were on the downside of their careers at the time. Her second film for Paramount, the salacious 1933 comedy She'd Done Him Wrong, was such a big hit that Paramount gave her complete control over her next picture, which is the film we're about to see. In I'm No Angel, Mae West stars as a sideshow performer. She's also credited with developing the story, but in reality, West oversaw every aspect of this production, including writing the provocative, sexually charged double entendres that became her trademark. I've waited too long to get to this next bit. I'm No Angel also reunited West with her leading man from She'd Done Him Wrong, a 29-year-old rising star named Cary Grant. West personally picked Grant to star in both films. More on that story slash legend after the movie. From 1933, also with Edward Arnold, Gregory Radoff, Kent Taylor, and Hattie McDaniel, I'm No Angel. Cary Grant was one year into his movie career when he made I'm No Angel, one of six pictures audiences saw him in in 1933. For Mae West, this was only her third film, but it marked the second time she starred opposite Cary Grant. Later in her life, West often claimed in interviews that she discovered Cary Grant. That's not really true. Grant had already appeared in a number of movies, but the two hit comedies he made with West did invigorate his career, and she did want him for both those pictures. So while West didn't actually discover Grant, she certainly helped pave the way for moviegoers to discover him. The story goes that West spotted Grant walking on the Paramount lot, intrigued by the handsome young actor. She asked who he was and then said, well, if he can talk, I'll use him in my next picture. It's exactly what she did. Coming up. We have another pre-code comedy from 1933, directed by Ernst Lubitsch and starring Frederick March, Gary Cooper, and Miriam Hopkins. Designed for Living is next on TCM. Next on TCM, Design for Living, then Babyface, and later Dinner at Eight. It's a night of nonagenarians on TCM.